We are here at Aero, the grand show for light aircraft in Europe. And we're thanking BRS Parachutes for allowing us to make these videos here at the show. We've come by Checksport Aircraft here, and we're talking with Matthew Harvey, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Checksport Aircraft. Hi, Dad. And Matthew is going to tell us a few things about how it's going internationally. But I've got to ask you a question first, Please. because our camera is picking this up. It says PA-28 Cruiser. Most Americans look at this and go, well, that's a sport cruiser. How's that work? Well, I guess you could say, Dan, that it is a sport cruiser. Uh, basically, uh, historically, Czech sport aircraft were always producing the sport cruiser. Uh, then uh, this, this, this aircraft was, was based on USA LSA category. Uh, then uh, back in 2009, uh, EASA uh, moved forward with the idea to introduce the light sport aircraft category here in Europe. Right. And, uh, CSLSA. Exactly, CSLSA. And uh, basically, we took the decision to introduce a new brand. So the PS28 Cruiser, you could say, is an offshoot of the Sport Cruiser, which we put forward for the certification within EASA. So the difference is, it's the same airframe, it's the same aircraft, it's differentiated in terms of the certification. So the PS28 Cruiser is what we sell in Europe and countries where they will validate the European I see, okay, where they'll accept that exactly. uh, criteria. And there yeah. are some small changes in terms of the avionics as well. Okay, we'll touch on some of those in a moment, but I'll say uh, for our viewers that uh, may not know, uh, in Europe, uh, Czech Sport Aircraft is one of three light sport type companies Certified. that have achieved a uh, restricted type certificate. Correct. They have some other letter names of things that you have to achieve here, approvals basically from EASA that allow you to do that kind of thing. So that's one of the rationale behind the name change. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, indeed. Okay. indeed. So if there are changes to the avionics, give us, without going into great detail, we want to leave something for them to look up on your website, yeah, sure. which we'll ask you about later. Yeah, sure. uh, give me a top view of what's well, well, there's not much that differs really, Dan, so it's quite simple. Uh, we're using, on the Sport Cruiser, the 10-inch Dynon Stagu, okay. whereas here in, in Europe we're not using that yet, we're using the D-130. Uh, okay. uh, however, we have in the pipeline the plan to certify the Stagu also. It's not quite ready, we're going through the process for the ASA, but we will be introducing that soon. In cooperation with Dynon, or are you just exactly. doing that on your own? No, we're doing that in cooperation with Dynon. Okay. So we'll be offering the Dynon uh, Skyview uh, very soon. But basically, Dan, what we do is we use uh, the certification with EASA as the benchmark to set the standards for what we do around the whole world. So give me goal. an example of a country where name. that works, but, to say, well, we have this with EASA, or, yeah. or more than one country, if you have this so, at the top. Well, basically, the way, the way it works is that, uh, let, you know, to be kind to our friends in EASA, the, the process in order to get a new enhancement or modification to the aircraft done takes longer in Europe. So I give you an example. We're aware of this, yes. On Wednesday, on the, the first, uh, when was the first day of the exhibition? On Wednesday, yeah, the first day of the exhibition, we uh, announced three uh, new enhancements to the PS28 cruiser. Firstly, we have the new stall warning system, okay. which was developed in house in Czech Sport Aircraft using components from Safe Flight uh, Instrumentation Corporation in the USA. We also introduced this first delivered aircraft that was standing in front in the classic, or the classic configuration uh, with the analog instrumentation. Right, you've been selling that in the United States. We too. have indeed, we have indeed, and we've just enhanced that introducing the BOR navigation. Now, what I, going back to my original point is that what we do before we launch them in the USA, we get them certified here in Europe, and then we launch them on the Sport Cruiser. So the stall warning now is going to be lost by default into the Sport Cruiser as is the BOR navigation. And we're also in the process, and we'll have it in the, in the next uh, the next few months, the certification for the sensor. 
from on the PS28. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw you really some news yeah, about that. Which Destiny. we offer on, on the spot cruiser in the USA, where we're doing very, very well, might I add, in the USA. Yes, we uh, talked with uh, Don Ayers of U.S. Sport Aircraft. Yep. He's your representative in the United States, and uh, he's being quite satisfied about the condition of things. We know that uh, sales in, in the USA are, are picking up this year, or so yep. it appears, uh, pretty uniformly. Yep. And we're hearing some similar talk here. How many aircraft of, of all variations of what we know as the Sport Cruiser, Piper Sport, P28 Cruiser, how many of all of these are flying in the world right now? Approximately. In the world right now, just over 500. 500, okay. And when, was, when did the first one go out with those uh, labels on them? Uh, the first ones were going out in uh, 2009. 2009, yeah. okay. So that's a pretty good yeah. performance in a four year period. Yeah, of time. it is. It's it doing is. quite well then. Um, it is. And, and this year, uh, I'm very, very optimistic. We've got very high expectations for the US market uh, this year, uh, Dan. We, we started the year. Uh, very aggressively, we sat down with our U.S. importing, U.S. sport aircraft importing, uh, and we discussed what changes, what modifications we needed to make to the aircraft to make it more attractive on the U.S. Can you give us a hint of something that wait. you'll do? Wait, we wait. To, we, we, we went through a weight reduction exercise ah, okay. back in Kulovica, our So, so our, you're going to create more useful load, yeah, and more yeah, payload, yeah, that Yeah, the, uh, slightly more useful load. We've introduced... Uh, 2013, two models in the glass cockpit configuration. Okay. We have the Sport Cruiser SVAP Plus, which is your all singing and dancing fully loaded aircraft, which as standard comes with the VRS system. Okay, excellent. We've also uh, introduced the SVAP Light, which is an aircraft, for example, that, that went through the weight reduction exercise to introduce more useful load. I'll give you one example where we've gained a little bit of weight reduction. Uh, this is only coming with one one of the uh, Skyview screens, single single I see, screen. Okay, okay. okay. And uh, already, uh, <coughs> that's quite luxurious to have two. You really don't need them, especially yeah, with the big yeah, yeah. the big dynons. Yeah. And, and up to today, uh, we've sold 17 aircraft in, in, in 2013. In 2013. Very good. That's uh, that's well, typical of what we're hearing from people and. Uh, it's a great relief after several yeah. years of kind of slow sales yeah. for everybody, yeah. everywhere, it yeah. seems. So. And 12 of them were the 2013 model oh, that I am. And yesterday we shipped the batch of, the first batch of six aircraft. So they'll be uh, docking in the USA very soon. Okay, we good. Look forward to seeing them flying. We'll hope they get there. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of information, Matthew, and thank you for all those details and the good news about uh, things for Czech Ch Sport Aircraft. I know Kunavinta, I have visited there. Good, and you're very the, welcome to come again. I'd love to do that again. But tell us where we can go on the web now. We'll put it on the screen for our YouTube uh, viewers. Okay. Uh, where we go to find out even more about Czech Sport Aircraft around the world and in the United States. www.checksportaircraft.com Okay, very good. Speaking today with Matthew Harvey, I'm Dan Johnson. You can find more about these aircraft on my website at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Arrow. Now to that amazing rescue at sea, a plane carrying a father and daughter from Florida suddenly losing power, crashing into the water near the Bahamas. The two narrowly escaping thanks to the pilot's fast thinking and the rapid response of the Coast Guard. ABC's Matt Gutman is in Miami with much more on this. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. The McLaughlin's father and daughter piloting their own plane took off from Miami on a clear day. They're on a medical mission to Haiti when suddenly disaster strikes. The oil pressure in the plane plummets. The engine clanks to a stop, and suddenly they find themselves plummeting towards the Atlantic. This hair-raising video shows 25-year-old Elaine McLaughlin and her father, Richard, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, being rescued from this single-engine plane, wind still filling its giant parachute. A doctor, McLaughlin, was on his way to Haiti to help with the cholera epidemic there. Mechanical failure cut the trip short. Coast Guard Lieutenants Thompson and Estupinon happened to be on a cargo mission nearby. He came over the radio and says the engine just quit. It's all quiet now. They turn and race towards the crippled plane just off Andros Island. Meanwhile, this father and daughter are in serious distress. The most frightening thing for me was seeing the propeller frozen, motionless, in front of a plane that's in the air. Their parachute descent looked something like this demo of a similar model plane. Not a deadly free fall, but still a fall. They managed to scramble out onto the wing and then into a life raft, at first holding onto the parachute's cord. 
And as the Coast Guard rescue plane circles overhead, so there, were, there was the parachute and the airplane and two people on a raft waving. Minutes later, helicopters arrived, rescuers plucking them out of the water. Really, really impressive guys. I, was, I really like the Coast Guard. Thank you.